Minnesota Governor Tim Walz today announced a community vaccine pilot program. It's aimed at vaccinating people 65 years and older, as well as educators. These are the nine pilot vaccine sites that will begin offering shots Thursday. But as WCCO's Caroline Cummings reports, it won't all happen at once because the vaccine is still in very short supply. It's good news for the people newly eligible for the vaccine. Some one million more Minnesotans are now eligible for vaccines after state officials say they're starting up nine community vaccine sites across the state for people 65 and older, educators and child care workers. Beginning Tuesday, appointments can be scheduled online or by phone, but the governor and top health officials are managing expectations. They say be patient because those slots will go fast. Anyone 65 plus can try to schedule a time while teachers and school staff Staff will need notification from their employer first. This is going to be harder than going to Ticketmaster and getting Bruce Springsteen tickets because everybody's going to be right at 12 o'clock trying to get on. This is because the vaccine supply falls drastically short of demand. Right now, the state gets 60,000 vaccines per week, and they're earmarking just 12,000 of them this week for these sites. If that allocation doesn't scale up at the current pace, it would take four and a half months to vaccinate this share of Minnesotans. Roughly 1.5 million total, including the Phase 1A vaccinations already underway and on schedule to be completed at the end of this month. The problem is, is that we literally have millions of Minnesotans, and in many of these sites, we're going to have hundreds of doses um, until the federal government simply moves faster. State leaders say these sites, part of a pilot program, will serve as the foundation for mass vaccine clinic sites in the future. But it's unclear when that will happen with no real indicator of how many more vaccines Minnesota will get from the federal government and when. State officials still remain hopeful that more will become available under a Biden administration and with new vaccines expected to be approved. I'm going to beg for patience, but fully understanding people are going to be irritated. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News.